Okay, we've only just got the weight stack version of the triplex in stock and already we're getting um, inundated with questions about whether I should go for the plate loaded or the weight stack version. So I'll break it down it's as simple as this. If you've got money, get this. And if you don't have money, get this. Now, I'll always say when you're buying gym equipment, uh, don't scrimp on quality. So both these options, you're getting a quality gym that's gonna last you for decades. So I guess one of my other philosophies is, um, I don't like to see people get into financial distress over gym equipment. We don't offer after pay or finance anymore. I know we lose a, a fair few sales over that, but it's something I'm sort of comfortable with. Um, if people really want finance, they can go and get it themselves. But um, it just means that we can sell stuff cheaper if we don't offer finance. But most importantly, um, I think your financial well-being is the same as your health. So if you're in a poor financial state, it's going to affect your health, vice versa. So never, never get yourself into financial difficulty over gym equipment. So if you don't have money, if you can just afford this, this will do the job. The reason I know is because personally I've trained on um, these style gyms, whether it be the um, ATX, Megatech or Powertech versions. And I know so many guys and girls out there that have done so over the years. And I know the, the people that get right into it are super happy with them. And basically with the right mindset, it wouldn't matter which gym you had, whether the plate loaded or the weight stack. If you train with consistency, eat right, you're gonna get the same results, whichever machine. So don't let um, the flash stuff, you know, cloud your judgment. I'm doing this video because we're gonna be doing a lot of um, content on the, the weight stack version because people wanna know about it. It's got a bit of a buzz about it. But I just sort of wanted to do this one because I know what it's like. Um, you know, I've got hobbies too and I know when you see something flash or something that you really like, it's expensive and you go through this mental trauma of um, can I afford it? And you know, you don't want to overstretch yourself. The way I look at this, you know, if you're only got the budget to, to get this, that's fine. Just get this at the moment. Don't go borrow money. Later on down the track, if you do have money, um, the, the best thing you can do is get a set of Ironmaster dumbbells that complements this gym perfectly. And I dare say, if you had this, and the Iron Master dumbbells versus the, the weight stack version on its own, you'd probably get better results. Um, the work around the same price. So just think of it like that. Regardless of your financial situation in the future, this machine is still always gonna be, you know, it's still gonna be doing your, your bench pressing, your rows, um, your high-low pulley exercises. Uh, the machine here has got the old version of the bench. Um, we haven't set up the new version, but it's got the same bench as the, the weight stack down there. So to sum it up, like any gym equipment that you're looking at, we're fortunate in that we only sell quality equipment. So it doesn't matter if you get a, a cheaper version, you're still getting a, a quality piece. But, you know, don't go nuts and, and don't get caught up in the, the hype. If you don't have money, if you've got money, obviously, and it's not a, an issue, then spend it. But don't, um, I'm doing this video for those that don't.